Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Welcome to another match preview battle. This time for the England versus Holland game at Wembley. It's a friendly, it's on Tuesday. To most of us, it's basically pointless and all we care about is that Spurs players don't get injured. But more importantly for this format, it's another opportunity for these guys to rise up the match preview battle league table. Of, oh, which, of which currently, after last week, Craig Mitch leads with four the points. Rock. Uh, Reese James currently in third place. Craig has done about 100 match previews, okay? He's got into the swing of it. Hey, wow. he's a head start. Hey, there's no formula to this, it's God given. God given talent, says Craig Mitch. Uh, Reese James, more of a. Uh, don't believe you know, in that. If you do it enough times, he's pragmatic. You'll, you'll get into it more. Okay, so Reese, obviously else. on the floor by the sound of it, so I'm going to come to you first. <laughs> I'm going to come to you first for your uh, match prediction and scorer, please, first. 2-0 to England. Oh, hello. Holland, of course, haven't made it to the Euros, so we could be deemed as favourites, I suppose. And who's going to score those goals? Jamie Vardy, Ross Barkley. Jamie Vardy having a party, OK. Oh, and whatever. Ross Barkley, Barkley also having a party. Having a, a separate party in an Alan Partridge <laughs> voice. OK, and uh, I will come now to Craig. Mitch, what is your score prediction and who will score? All right. So, <laughs> I have 2-1 to England. OK. Um, who's going to score? I have Kane. And Lalana. Ah, Lalana. Oh, Adam, a wild card. Adam Lana, Lalana, talk to me about this a little bit. I think, and I've said it before, if Adam Lalana were a foreign player playing in England, people yeah. would rave about him because the way he plays, he's yeah. tricksy, takes up good little positions, yeah. and and he sets up goals and scores good goals as well. But I don't know England about rave. fans, I think England fans think he's a bit avvy. I think they think a bit, he's a bit. I average. think he's quite avvy. I just think he's decent for England. He's from not. What I don't think he's consistent enough. Okay. I but also predicted uh, he, a scorer, right. though, for um, oh, yes, Holland. Sorry, sorry scorer um, for Holland. Uh, Arjun Captain Robin. Robin. Arjun Robin. How do you know? Because he was the player I would think uh, yeah. might score as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unless he's quality. He's unless, a, uh, what a guy. Player. What a guy. Uh, okay, so good. All right, let's go for match prediction. Uh, sorry, not match prediction. Uh, your prediction of the team lineup. Starting with you, Craig Mitch. All right, so in goal, it's going to be Butland. Yeah. Right back. Mm. Uh, Nathaniel Klein. Ooh. <laughs> Remember, I'm taking into account the Germany starting lineup. I have to take that into account. Remember, we're filming this on a Tuesday, okay? Also, yeah, we're not aware of the injuries after That's the Germany. Yeah, we so, are, we are yeah. filming this before the Germany game, yeah. so, so let's just keep that in mind. It's more difficult for them, but still, you know, you've picked Klein over Walker, fine. Smalling and Stones. Yeah, because I think Walker's going to play against Germany. <laughs> right, yeah. 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 I was just loving how sad and disappointed you felt. Smalling and Stones. This is a Spurs channel. <laughs> I don't think Stones is going to start in the game against Germany, so I'm gonna go Smalling and Stones. Okay. Left back, Rose. I don't think Rose will start against Germany, so I think we'll start against uh, the Netherlands. And then holding midfield, Dyer. Yeah, good call. And then, mine's like a 4-3-3 three, three as well, essentially. Uh, drink water and Ali in front. Oh, yeah. On the right, Lalana. Yeah. On the left, Jamie Vardy. Yeah. And up top, Harry Kane. Very nice. Do you know what? I, yeah, I've been thinking, if, if in the Euros, um, uh, Roy Hodgson played Dyer and Drinkwater in front of the back four. I think he could then play really attacking players in the three and, uh, you know, behind Kane, mm -hmm. presumably. Like, he could play Barkley and Ali and say, I don't really rate Sterling, but a Sterling or a Rooney behind Kane. But anyway, OK. Uh, uh, interesting team. How does yours mm -hmm. differ, uh, Reese James? Well, mine differs 100% from the team I picked to play against Germany. OK, good. Well, so let's hope they watch that. It's a completely different eleven. Go back. And find Go out. Back and watch the last match. So I've gone it. very bold here. I've gone two different 11s. Okay, You've gone that's Steve why bold. I picked some of these mental he decisions. Hasn't gone Steve bold. No, and I picked five Spurs players Excellent. in the last one. Okay. So there are zero in this. Oh dear. In the hope that Pochettino has done a deal with Hodgson. Well, that would be nice. To say you can only play them once. Okay. Okay. So he'll play them in the harder game against Germany where it would be physically more they're demanding. Better. They're more required oh, yeah. in the Germany game because yeah. they're uh, better than everyone oh, okay. else. Yeah. Yeah. Gary Neville did say, actually, he's noticed. Uh, since Pochettino came in, that when Spurs players turn up for England duty, they're totally on it. They're listening to uh, what's being told of them in meetings, and they're just basically fitter than everyone else. Yeah. More professional. And they shake so, hands with everyone. And they shake hands with everyone. Forster. Fraser Forster. Klein. Jagielka and Stones. Oof. I like Stones, actually. Bertrand. Oh, God. Drinkwater and Milner. Oh, I don't, I don't like this team. No, no. I, you don't like any of these. But, but they're so, so far, it's the beigest team yeah, in the history I know, of football. Right. Roy Hodgson is the manager. Yes, yeah, good point. Barkley, Walcott, Lalana, Vardy. Oh, what? Then what is that? Walk, it's, a, it's a unique, different eleven to the previous eleven. Do you know what that selected. is? That's three points for me again. That's what that is. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let's remind you that they get a point for every single uh, correct prediction they make. 
Uh, and then overall, whoever's got the most points within that round gets three points for a win. And it's one point for a draw. So interesting. All right. So that's the end of the predicting, uh, the uh, competitive part. Let's go for memories. Uh, Reese James, memories of England versus Holland. Much, much in it for you? Uh, Euro 96, 4-1. Beautiful. Teddy Sheringham, Alan Sheringham Shearer. Sheringham and Shearer. Paul Lynch each. won a penalty with a, a Cruyff flick past the player and taken down. Fantastic. And we won the group. We won the group. We beat Spain on penalties in the next round, and then we lost. Um, to wasn't yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the best math, mathematician, but wasn't Reese four years old at the time? How did you remember that? Potentially, but now you're. In how, your did, 20... how did you remember that, Reese? <laughs> how was that a memory, Reese? If so you were wait, four did, years old, so did you was not... you watching it out of your cot? Was you just peering at the television? Did you not come online mentally until you were twelve? Oh, I have memories when I was. Four, was he watching so... it out of his what? His cot. Oh, I see. Um, you were in a cot at four. <laughs> Were you still in a cot? I'm court? just saying. I'm just Bloody saying. Hell, mate. I'm just speaking. Were you walking? I'm just, okay. I'm just saying. So, uh, I'm just saying. Some, okay, some of guys. us were quite prescient. Oh, okay. okay. Guys, yeah. let's come Makes sense. I think, that was a memory, yeah. I think what has happened there is Craig has got angry because Reese has used the main memory he can remember <laughs> as well. So, Craig, what have you got for personal memory? That actually memories wasn't my mem Holland? memory because I was seven years old at the time and I'd be lying if I said I watched football like that, like this guy. I've been into football since I was a kid, mate. Yeah, sure. I'm a real football fan. What is your memory? I was into The Lion King. Um, my dad got me into it because of Gazer and stuff. So it was been oh, <laughs> anyway, my memory is when we lost 3 uh, 2 to the Netherlands. Oh, what a lovely memory. Was that Whoa, that was my memory. Two. Hold on, was that the game we played at White Hart Lane? Because there was a friendly we played against them at White Hart no, Lane. No, it was at Wembley. It was and at Mark Wembley. Van Bommel scored an absolute No, it was screen. Wembley. Br uh, Robin got a brace and he scored in the 90th oh, yeah, it minute. More and more recent, it. wasn't it? Yes. So Robin's a good player. It was player. in 2012. I remember that. He scored in the last minute. And it was annoying, but it was a fabulous goal. Right. Just bent it, cold it round, Good stuck play. it in. Good play. I love him. I love Robin. Okay, and we're going to come to a, a little wow. stat. We're going to come to okay. you again, Craig. Have you got a little stat for us? A nice little stat? Yes. So, in our history against the Netherlands, we have never been in negative equity against them in terms of wins or losses. Or, or buying houses. Or, I'm, ju I'm just saying. <laughs> currently, we have five wins, five losses, and nine draws. So, if we were to lose to them, it would be the first time we were, we're, we're, we're negative. Losing. All right, yeah. sweet. Well, right, I don't think we are going to lose to them because they've only won two of their last four, uh, losing to Turkey and the Czech Republic, and they only beat Wales and Kazakhstan by one goal. Yeah, they were poor in their qualifying group for the Euros, they really were. poor. Terrible. Um, and the coach now is Daly Blind's dad, Danny Blind. Is that right? Yep. I believe so. Is yeah. that right? It is, That's yeah. That's right, yeah. Wow. Uh, so there you go, a little bit of information. Wonder that is. Get picked. Yes, I think he will probably as captain. Uh, that is the <laughs> end of the England versus the Netherlands match preview battle. Uh, don't forget to tune in next week when I will tell you how those predictions have affected the league table uh, and will Rhys James get off the <laughs> mark? No, I've currently, definitely lost this one. <laughs> currently on zero points in that league table. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. Let us know what your predictions are and what your team selections are for the England game. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and enjoy the fact that after this, the Premier League will be back. We'll be fighting for it and the match preview battles will be a lot more interesting as they predict the other results around us as well as Spurs' results. Come on, you Spurs. Now this week, the topics we're talking about are Harry Kane's pursuit of the golden boot, Harry Kane's new boxing career and UFC career, Dyer saying that we cannot get tired and we don't need to get tired, uh, the Dortmund fans being impressive, Souness saying that Spurs have a huge advantage over Leicester because we're young, and Ericsson saying that he's been texting Schmeichel, winding him up about the title race.